Thank you for staying with us. And everybody has a story. Everyone has a journey. And we're going to be talking now with Elizabeth Liddell, and she has a book entitled, What a Journey. Elizabeth, thank you for coming to Smile Television Talk Show. Thank you. This is a great book. This thank is you. A great. First, you know, I want to talk about your book, of course. But tell our audience, you're from East St. Louis, Illinois. Yes. Give us a little bit about your background. Yes, I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. Actually, I was born and raised in Grenada, Mississippi. We traveled here in 1968, and I attended Lincoln Senior High School. Um, I, I, I graduated from Lincoln Senior High School. You graduated from Lincoln Senior High yes, School. Yes, I did. I have a lot of friends who went to Lincoln. As a matter of fact, we grew up in the South End. Okay. And if we hadn't moved over near East Side, that's where I would have been going to school, too. We could have been friends back then. We could day. have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elizabeth, tell us, how did you um, come up with your book? What inspired you to write your book? Actually, in 2008, I had written a book about my life journey, and I put it down. It wasn't time. Um, I was at church at the altar one day in 2013. Uh, the pastor's sister came up to me and stated that she had had a vision. God said, write bestseller. I picked up that pen and my notepad and I started writing. And I'm going to tell you, I know I was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write that book because I had no distractions, no interruption. I just wrote it. Everything I thought of, it just came out. And I wrote it down. And I have a product, What a Journey, Surviving Life's Journey with the Help of God. Wow, you know what? For years, I've been telling myself that I'm going to write a book. You were motivated by God, but, you know, how did you really pick that pen up? I mean, what was the last thing that you can say that would really inspire you to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it? You know, when I was at the altar, I was really crying at church. This was on a Sunday. And... When the pastor's sister wrapped her arms around me, she wrapped her arms so tightly around me. And I thought to myself, why is she doing this? What is the point of this? When she whispered in my ears, she said, God says, write bestseller. Now, you know what came to my mind? Well, how would she know anything about the book that I wrote prior? You know what I'm saying? How, why, how would she know? And I asked her, I said, did, did God tell you that I wrote a book? She said, all he told me is that you write bestseller. I knew then that what I had wrote prior that I needed to finish. Let me ask you this. I know you have um, siblings, yes. and a lot of your book may talk about things that happened in your family. How did your family members feel about the book being written? You know, I called a meeting. We had a little luncheon, you know, and I called a meeting for everyone to kind of review the manuscript. Um, they were okay, and, you know, some was receptive and some was not, you know, based on, you know, they wanted those names changed, which is what I did. I want to respect their privacy, and I want to tell a story. I want to tell a journey, how God, how we survived mm -hmm. a journey with the help of God. You know what, and, and, and audience, this book is really excellent. What a journey. It, it, it's an inspirational, and it tells you about struggles and, and, and things of that nature. Let them know some of the things. Yeah. And I know uh, you don't want to give everything away. That's true. Just, um, give them a little bit about um, what's inside. Actually, what I'm telling is a journey, a journey that started south of Mississippi, and we traveled here north, a uh, small town, East St. Louis. I'm telling about a journey of stress, struggle, adversity, how we overcame it with triumph with the help of God. Um, it's, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to read. I really would like for everyone to purchase the book. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a story to tell. Uh, no story is the same. I am so grateful that God gave me my story to tell. And I, I'm just so grateful. So in the book, you're going to see so many stories of death. Uh, fighting, organ, I mean, all those things are in there. So, uh, but we did survive it with the help of God. We truly did. If you would offer some words of um, encouragement, um, there may be many others just sitting back and, and just like me. Okay. I'm saying I'm going to write a book, but, and I know you're saying, you know, you were really pushed by God, and that's how we all should be mm -hmm. in order to go into any venture, venture. But what words of wisdom would you give individuals who aspire, inspire to do the same thing? 
First off, I would tell everyone, don't be embarrassed of what has happened to you. You know, uh, oftentimes people think that we're just writing a story to make a dollar. That's not true. Um, I think that we as human have suffered so greatly. A lot of us are going to die. We're going to take our secrets with us. However, you could help yourself and someone else to to persevere past that. You can actually get past it. You know, um, some of my siblings said that we should take this to our grave. And, and and I do think that, you know, in some cases that you should. But I think that I was motivated by God. I know I was motivated by God. I have to tell a story to help someone to be delivered, to, to even gain salvation. So I, I would encourage those that have a story, tell it. You can be free of a decades of uh, adversity, suffering, stress upon you that God can release you from those things. That's my advice to someone. You know, a lot of times we say that um, whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Yes. And um, one of the scriptures that I attend, I really love, um, and I may not say it verbatim, but I might if the Lord will. All things work together for good yeah. to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purposes. And, and one thing that we don't realize is that, that those things that we go through in life are stepping stones to greater things. Yes. And, and that somebody else may benefit even from our pain yes. once we overcome. Oh, yes. um, how do you feel? I mean, we know how you feel about that. Yes. Because you put it in your book. Yes. But how do you feel about others who may just say, well, I don't, I don't want to tell it. I don't want to tell it. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed or I'm ashamed. Like you just said, you told them not to be. How, how can we help them get that out? Actually, what I would do, the first thing I had to do was pray. And I had to be still to listen to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. I had to pray about it. I had to get my family involved. I got the church involved. You have to get people involved to help you with it. Um, my support team was the pastor sister, Linda Lewis. She prayed day and night with me. Now, I mean, at first, you're going to be very reluctant on giving that type of information up, but just remember, you're not alone. Someone else, someone else, somewhere else have went through greater situation than you have. So I would suggest to, you know, to get you free of such a bondage. You know, a bondage. Um, I've learned that um, one of the best things in life that we can be is transparent. Mm -hmm. Not only we have to tell all of our dirty laundry to everybody, exactly. but in order to grow, we have to be willing, first of all, to be transparent to ourselves, to see mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. and then maybe have a partner, another Christian partner, mm -hmm. um, that we can uh, that can hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. Along your walk, were there other people in place that God used to um, to encourage you? Besides, you know, you mentioned your pastor and the young lady at the church. Were there other people in place? Actually, my family. My mm -hmm. mother is a huge inspiration uh, for me. Um, she taught us how to pray. She taught us how to do a lot of things. She taught us how to survive, how to connect with each other. We only had each other. So my mother, Irene Galladay, taught us that. And I am grateful to have such a, a blessing mother. My siblings worked together with each other. We had each other. That's all we had. Okay, and um, what a journey. And mm -hmm. where can people um, purchase your book? My book can be purchased at Amazon.com, type in books, and then type in What a Journey by Elizabeth G. Liddell. You also can go to my website, ElizabethLiddell.com. ElizabethLiddell.com, What a Journey, What a Book. You don't want to miss getting this book. Um, Elizabeth, there's uh, something else I would like to ask you uh, before we go. If you will, just, just tell our audience how you found Jesus Christ. Well, I found Jesus Christ a long time ago. Even when I was younger, uh, I was told to pray and about God. And my mother, she just really instilled that in all of us. But in 1997, when my nephew was murdered... Um, that's when I know that Jesus was with me. I knew then that the Holy Spirit had came upon me. Thank you, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. for coming to Smile Television Talk Show. Thank you for You're having me. You're a blessing. You're a blessing to me, and, and she's going to be a blessing to you. Get her book, What a Journey. And I'm telling you, you, you won't be uh, disappointed. What a Journey. Elizabeth Liddell, I just thank God for her. I 